hockey, you'll hit your head every five seconds and get concussion. Good day, everyone. Oh, shut up, fucking shouting in the background. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing this section in the fucking shut up. A very pretty, a very warm, shut up, a very warm and a very pretty Yokohama. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing this section in the front. Oh, fuck, I've messed it up again. So, without further ado, we'll look at that later. Shit. And welcome to Yokohama, which is not far the fucking wind again. Good day everyone, and welcome back to my channel, First World Traveller, and also, welcome to Yokohama, which is not too far from Tokyo. It's a very pretty and a very warm Yokohama, as you can see behind me. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing this section in front of a load of flowers, because unfortunately not everything about Yokohama is pretty. By this I mean my accommodation. Now, the main purpose of this video is to show you the extremes of Japanese hostels. A couple of videos ago, when I was in Aso, you saw an absolutely amazing hostel, which was quite possibly the best one I've ever stayed in. This one in Yokohama is rage inducing and basically you want to kill yourself when you're there. Before we do that, let's show you a few things to do in Yokohama that don't involve potentially getting battered to death with a rusty old pipe at four o'clock in the morning. Let's go.
Right, it's time to show you around the worst hostel in the world. I'm going to have to do it slightly undercover because I don't want to get caught slagging off their hostel. So uh, let's go. So basically, yeah, I'm at Yokohama Hostel Village. Now, when I was researching where to stay, I found one on Hostel World that was absolutely awful, had horrendous reviews, and I thought, okay, I'm not going to do that. So I found one on another website. Turns out it was the same one. So well done me. Over there is the office, the blue sign outside and over the road the green one is where I'm actually staying that is my hostel so let's go and have a look right it's not really a traveler's hostel there's a lot of people that are working and stuff that are staying here I'm on the fourth floor there's no uh, lift so carrying a suitcase up five four flights of stairs it's great fun lovely Wi-Fi there's no Wi-Fi in this building apart from on one sofa and on the roof so that's great Yep, still climbing up the stairs. So as you can see, each of these doors is a different room. There, normally in hostels there is a big room of like 10 beds, but no, in each of these, there's two in each room. Normally you don't have a key for hostel rooms, but you do here, like about 10 different keys, look. Oh, the cleaner's left it unlocked. That's good security, isn't it? As you can see, completely tiny room. Suitcase over there, I can't even open it, so I've got to take it outside to to get anything out of it. The pillow isn't even a pillow. Look, you can hear it. It's like some beads or something. Rock hard. I woke up ten times last night, probably. It's fucking awful. Also, there's nowhere to hang your towel. That isn't poo. It's chocolate brown hair dye from Malaysia. And if you're lucky. You'll hit your head every five seconds and get concussion. So the shower, there's one shower for all of these rooms, which is great. This thing is ridiculous. You have to write on here when you want to have a shower. There's no pen. So God knows how I can do that. You've got to use a key, this one, to get into the shower. Why? I don't know, because there's a lock inside. Stupid. There's a washing machine here. It washes fine, but the tumble dryers are on the next floor. And I spent 600 yen to dry my clothes and they still didn't dry. This is the dilapidated kitchen that looks like a hellhole from hell. It says on the door, do not use this one because there's nothing here basically. But the microwave doesn't even work. I'm now in the toilet. If you notice there's a no smoking sign here, people do smoke in the toilets and in the corridors, which is great. You can wash your face and brush your teeth in the kitchen. That's hygienic. So the fifth floor, there's the tumble dryer that doesn't dry your clothes. The funniest thing on it, it says, the dry machine is weak. So please dry clothes in the sun. Weak might as well mean it doesn't work. The kitchen is diabolical. So you've got this sort of oven thing and a microwave that does actually work. However, if you try and cook anything, there's no cutlery or anything. You've got a couple of spoons and a chopstick. Normally in a hostel as well, you'll have like a tour from the hostel staff. They'll show you where the laundry is or the kitchen or the bathrooms. No, nope, don't get none of that here, mate. Just got to find everything yourself. So yeah, fantastic. So all in all, this hostel is horrendous. It's quite possibly the worst ones I've ever stayed in. The first night I was staying here, I heard someone potentially being battered to death with a pipe. Hence what I said at the beginning of this video. So yeah, if you want to get murdered, this is a place to come. Right, cup noodles, cats. Ridiculous hostel, horrendous Don't forget to like this video down below and leave a comment, please. And oh, the wind stopped. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course. Right, the time is up for my journey through Japan. Don't panic, I've still got a week in Tokyo coming up, including Tokyo Mario Kart, robot restaurants. What else could you want? Make sure you tune in for my Tokyo videos because they're coming. Catch you later.